Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to unlock the bootloader of the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. Before you start, make sure you have the required platform tools installed on your Windows or Mac PC. All the links are provided in this video's description. This is a universal tutorial so you can follow along on any OnePlus device. The steps are the, exactly the same. You can also follow these steps on other Android devices but certain steps may vary based on manufacturers. For example on Xiaomi phones the steps are a little different and takes a little more time. Please make sure you back up all the necessary data from your device as unlocking the bootloader will wipe your device completely. Before we get into the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit your bell icon so that you get updated every time I post a new video. Now once you've done that, let's get started. First, take your Android phone and go to the settings. Scroll up and go to about phone and tap on build number 7 times. This will enable developer options. Now in order to go to developer options, go back, go to system, go to developer options. Make sure you have OEM unlocking turned on. After that, swipe up and under debugging section, make sure you have USB debugging turned on. Once you've done that, Go to your PC and make sure you download the required platform tools from the link in the description. If you're having a Mac, go with the Mac file. If you're having a Windows PC, go with the Windows file. Once you've downloaded the file, make sure you extract the folder and keep the folder ready. Now once you open the extracted folder, you will find two files, one called adb.exe and the other one called fastboot.exe. These are the two files which we will be using in this entire process. Now open command prompt. After that, drag and drop the adb file into the command prompt. After you drop, type the command devices and hit enter. Now you will have to wait for a second and you can see that after a string followed by certain random numbers and letters, you have the word unauthorized. Now go to your Android device and you will have a pop-up. Make sure you allow and click OK. This allows your phone to connect to your PC through USB debugging. Once you've done that, go back to your PC and drag and drop the ADB command again and repeat the same process. This time you will find devices instead of unauthorized. If you get this, this means your device is now connected. After that, type ADB space reboot space bootloader and hit enter. Your phone will now go into fast boot mode. Give it a second and your phone will automatically turn back on into fast boot mode. Do not disconnect your phone from the PC while this process is taking place. Now once your phone boots back on into fast boot mode, now 
Now drag and drop the fastboot.exe file into the command prompt and type in the command devices and hit enter. This is just to check if your phone has been detected by your Windows system in the fastboot mode. If you get fastboot after the string that means your device has been detected. Now drag and drop the fastboot.exe file again into the command prompt and then type the command OEM space unlock and hit enter. You will now get a prompt on your phone. Now in order to select the option unlock the bootloader make sure you use the volume down button to navigate and the lock button to confirm. I repeat volume down button to navigate and lock button to confirm. This will wipe your data and your phone will now have an unlocked bootloader after this process. Make sure you make all required backup beforehand so that you don't lose any precious data. Every time your phone boots with an unlocked bootloader, you will get a prompt saying that your phone is vulnerable. Unfortunately, there is no way to turn it off. You will have to deal with it. I will fast forward the booting process. Once your phone switches back on, you can now set it up as you normally would. You can now proceed to root your phone and install a custom recovery and enjoy a rooted phone. You can also install custom ROMs and your phone now officially has an unlocked bootloader. Now if you want to go back to stock and restore your warranty, you can refer to the video from the card above or in the link in the description. Now if you have enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button, please subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.